There's been some very interesting experiments that were done by Steve Cole, who is at UCLA. So um, what is this? So this is a slice of a lymph node from a rhesus macaque. This is a, essentially a, a kind of monkey. And what they're looking at here in the lymph node, all these green dots, these are being stained for symp sympathetic nervous system innervation. So everywhere you see a green dot, that means there's a nerve coming in from the sympathetic nervous system. So you can see there's dots all over this lymph node. So they're going into this lymph node to release uh, substances they're called catecholamines that start signaling to cells in the lymph node itself. As one example of how our social condition actually affects our immune system, um, what Steve Cole and, and his group did is in this condition here, these rhesus macaques were kept mo and mainly in isolation. So these were in normal, stable social groupings. These were in uh, isolation for the most part in unstable social settings. So they had very brief interactions with other rhesus macaques. So what is, it, what, what is the difference here? Anyone want to call it out? Should hopefully be able to see it from back there. So there's a lot more innervation. So you see many more green dots here. So what that is telling us is this is not even just a temporary thing that you get a response for one or two minutes. These conditions actually change the whole, essentially, architecture of the lymph node. And it changes the amount of connections and increases the amount of sympathetic nerve fibers that are going into the lymph node here. So this means that this rhesus macaque is going to be more sensitive to these fight or flight responses. Um, and it may be a little easy, harder for that kind of animal to actually essentially down-regulate or decrease the effects of stress on the immune system. Uh -huh.